obviously from your Fire AFL TV and Association with Martin's Jim Bear. We're down in the MGM Scotland headquarters. We're delighted to be with MGM Scotland's new latest signing, heavyweight Gary Cornish. How are we doing? Yeah, good thanks for sure. Not bad, not bad. Happy to sing with MGM? Yeah, definitely, you know, really excited about what the future holds, so onwards and upwards. And we're looking ahead to, I see you train, uh, changed your training team as well. Is everything, is everything moving forward? Yeah, uh, you know, just gone full time. Um, so down here, when I was up in Inverness, I didn't get any sparring or anything. So that's a big step now. We're, we're coming down the road, get sparring. Um, obviously working with Billy, Billy Nelson. He's a, a top coach as well. So, so it's all looking good. You're in a stable full of good pros there. David Brophy, Stephen Simmons, all those people you think will really help you in the gym? I definitely, you know, if you've got a good gym, you know, you all push each other. So hopefully we can take the best out of each other. You're 23 and 1 now, you're 29, that's young rel relatively for heavyweights. Do you feel that you're just about to approach your peak? Yeah, they say uh, you don't really reach your peak till you're about 33, I think, in heavyweight, so we've got a few years yet. So. And what's the plans moving forward? Just, well, I spoke with Sam, you know, and uh, that's one of the main reasons I signed with Sam is because we've got a plan in place. Um, we're going to build that, build that fight, you know, and instead of just fighting oppositions that are down here. We want to step up, step up, step up, rather than just always fighting here and then bang, big step up, you know? Yeah. We're wanting to build up, build up, build up, learn, learn on your way up instead of just waiting for the big one. When you say that, we're looking back at the Joshua fight, do you think that was a prime example of that? You were fine, certain levels, and then you get thrown into the O2 arena in front of your packed house against Danny Joshua? Yeah, definitely, you know, that if you look, there's a couple of good opponents on my record, but it's like it's 23 and 1, but. In my eyes, it's only about ten and one. Yeah. You know, um, I should have had I should have had a lot more build-up fights. And that's obviously the plan now with some. Um, we're going to learn, 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 learn. As as and when I fought Joshua, I was I was fighting here. I was doing okay. You know, I didn't have many amateur fights, but we needed learning fights first. But obviously, if the chance comes up, you got to take it. You know, because at the time I thought I could beat him. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go into a fight unless I could figure. Out, think I could win. You know. Yep. Yeah. And what what uh, what positives did you take from that night? Um, just experience in Hull really, you mm. know, the, the stadium, eh, sorry, the O2 Arena, just, just everything really, the build up to it, I never had any of that, like attention and all that, and obviously we want to get back there again, and we've learned so much from that fight, and even the, the bad stuff, you know, like people turning on you and all that, I learned all that through there as well, so it's, it was a really good experience for me. Mm -hmm. And it um, doesn't really get much bigger, the stage, O2 Arena, is that the sort of level you see yourself being back operating at in the next 12, maybe 18 months? That's the plan, I. If uh, everything goes to plan, yeah. Yep. But just a, a classic heavyweight battle between Derek White, uh, Derek White, <laughs> <laughs> Derek Chisora and Dylan White. You might get in trouble for something. <laughs> we'll edit that about. Um, is that the sort of guys you want to be in it? up against over maybe the next 12 months, obviously you've got to make your adjustment, you've got to have your settling period with Billy Nelson, get used to his methods and everything else, but is that the level you see yourself back at over maybe the next 12 months? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've, I've sparred with Derek Chisora, um, I've watched Dylan White fight and, you know, it's not, there's not that much difference between, there's, there's a lot of heavyweights in the scene just now that are, we're all like kind of close, you know, mm -hmm. and aye, aye that's, where, that's where I want to be anyway. Seems like just a couple of big victories will put you straight into that. We'll thrust you straight into position if if you get what I mean. I mean the heavyweight scene is wide open ever since Fury dislodged Vladimir Klitschko and the opportunities are there for heavyweights when they put a couple of wins together. Is that something that sort of motivates you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like like I said at the start there, you know, we're gonna we're gonna build up instead of just fighting opponents down here, we're gonna build up, build up, build up and then once once the time comes where we get one of these boys we'll we'll be ready. Mm hmm And uh, just final thing, have we got a fight date in mind yet? Yeah, um, first fight's in February the 18th. And, uh, I'm actually too sure what it is. Paisley Lagoon Centre will be then? Is that what it is? Paisley Lagoon Centre, February 18th. I think yeah. it is. And so this will be the start of the, the new journey, you know. Yeah. Can we expect a, a hold of Inverness fans piling in the trains on their way down? Ah, you should be. They always, they always get uh, enjoy a night out. So. <laughs> I'm really? sure you'll see a few drunk and nice people. I'm sure we will. <laughs> <laughs> Lock up your doors in Paisley. <laughs> Cheers, Gary. All the best. Welcome to the team. Yep, thank you. Cheers.